meditation. Meditation and relaxing ourselves in a calm and peaceful manner in a status. Order to do that, what have to be avoided? As we call, avoid the distractions. <coughs> distractions is the like opponent, the opposite, opposite or the disturbance of the being ourselves. Quiet and peace. And we don't have the peaceful or quietness. Our inner beauty of the calm and peaceful, soothing, will not arise, not shine through. It is similar as like water is disturbed, water is completely stirred up that, and there is muddies all the time. So we can't really see the clay water itself. Similarly, present time, our mind is completely disturbed and distracted by which, or maybe I shouldn't say completely, but most of the time, our mind is completely disturbed and distracted by all the distractions that we go externally and internally we go through. And externally, we are distracted by all the external activities, or such, such as object of, the object of the six senses of the external things. We are completely distracted, or particularly also, I can say, five senses. And those five senses are objects what? Object sense and I object. Object of I is forms. And the object E is sounds. And the object of nose is a smells. And the object of the taste is trust. Uh, is taste. Or object of tongue is taste. And the object of, of the body is touches. And then plus the six more, the next, also not six more, but one more, and it is known as then imagination. The object of mind is the imagination things. Re reflect, recollecting of the past memories, or the present thoughts, or the future plans, going on and on, and disturb and kind of completely carry away that in our brains, hovering all the time. And those are known as then the distractions. So if that has distraction is external happening, and inwardly also then you're busy with the mentally, kind of busy. So there is no really kind of a time of the calm and the peaceful so that we can relax. Those is the major obstacles. And therefore, to avoid those things, then what the teaching said? Due to the hermitage. Hermitage is then something that has led less those distractions. Even though, of course, as long as your duality your mind is not completely finished yet, then there is always distractions. But however, the hermitage is more better because there is less distractions. So therefore, in the teaching, what do you say? Say, the hermitage of the busyness of that external world is reduced because of being in, in the like, hermitage level. So let less busyness. And then, that is not enough. We have to be also have to be permitted of our mental activities. And so therefore external hermitage, being as hermitage places, is hermitage. Inwardly hermitage is being as a, as a disassociated with mundane conceptions and discursive thought is known as inner hermitages. By having these two hermitages, we can bring strength of the state of mind or the realization will shine that. And now among all the all the distractions in the samsara, the one of the mostly desirable is is in particularly in the human world or in what's called the desire realms. In what in the Buddha's teaching again, do you know that there's three realms desire realm and form realms and formless realms. There's three realms. And why is called desirings? First, desirings is something that you desired so much all the time. Time, one of the most powerful desires is to be associated with the partners. This is the, therefore, is called desirings. Has like more attached than form realm and formless realms. Don't have that strength, that duties. Dictis as desire and has. Desire and has such a strong desire 
that led to be in the Pit Partners. That is very strong. For that reason, in the teaching, name the entire this realm as desire realms. So among that, therefore, this again, among the, all the object of the distractions, being with the, like, like what's called the with partner is the very, very desire and also it is very destructive. I would like to stay in peace, I would like to bring more tranquility in our mind, in our heart, in the realization, to bring more realizations. Then I will be distracted with that. It is, it's very big distractions. So the, among that distractions, and this is of course, Teaching is more focused directly at the person of how it started. It started with the, with the male, male person who was a king. King, king is male. Therefore, then he, great master, used terminology as targeted as like female. Female, you should not be. Be desired and attached. You should feel what you have is enough and not looking something more than that, what do you have? Yeah. That is what this great master explained. Explain. And that is again here. And then how we do this? This is generally again, in a sense we are very in a practitioners, and as well as Mahayana practitioners. <coughs> there is three different ways to kind of like make ourselves storms. The first is, is the, the first here, this is the, in the way this teaching is in, you know, his teaching is really encompassed entirely uh, like in the teachings of the Buddha, say, Hinayana teaching, Mahayana teaching, and Vedayana teachings, but it is more also highlighted as teachings of the Mahayanas. So therefore, in a Mahayana way, how we should try to less desire for our self. self. And then same time, he is adding according as Hinayana levels how we should do that. So he could highlight this great master to the Mahayana systems as well as Hinayana systems. And of course the Mahayana systems, and we propose them here, but what I will again roughly go through these, these translations. And, and
happy and enjoy this. this. If that didn't help, that help and add then the Hinayana status. And that is then seeing duty. It's not, it's not so beautiful. We are attached because our senses are attached and a desire seeing something pleasure and beautiful, nice. And therefore, and then seeing that something that is not so pleasing as see as unclean things. And that is then again in this great master's teaching in the next few lines or next few in verses how you, we should perceive things like that. And so this is the what the uh, and uh, when you have this, uh, uh, I mean, this is the, how this you can perceive in this uh, many different level, level, levels, ways. And to avoid the attachment, that grasping, that craving, craving that things. And to devote it. And then when you are teaching what? It says, teach, see everything as a divine. See as everything is the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, so all the deities. Male and female, God and goddesses. God and goddesses of Buddha, male and female Buddhas, enlightened beings. And yourself in that divine state too. And transcendent in every those emotions, crowning in the right in that instant status. Then this is known as great practitioners. That is what is known as Vedana practitioners. So applying the according our capabilities and our, our things and what is and is is to avoid that grasping, that clinging. That is what, what we should do. So that is the really about, about that, that. And then of course this other next great master speaking. And now, and so 